Polling stations have closed across Ukraine, wrapping up voting in an early parliamentary election. Seven parties appear to have made it into the parliament. And here are the exit polls so far. Pro-Europeans look to have a firm lead with the parties of the president and the prime minister ahead, followed by the mayor of the western city of Lvov. Then comes the opposition bloc, comprised of former members of the banned party of regions, which used to be the ruling party until February. Close behind is the nationalist wing, comprised of the radical party and the far-right Svoboda. And finally, there's the party headed by the former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko. Now, this is the general picture, and different polling organisations give numbers varying by a percent or two. RT Zarina Galushka is in Kiev, where she's been following the vote. We've had a shooting in central Ukraine uh, where two people were injured. Uh, there was also a man in another polling station who brought a Kalashnikov uh, to the polling station saying that he was an aide to the current parliament member. Uh, then there was also a fire happening at one polling station as well. No injuries uh, or damages reported there. More than a dozen phone calls with alleged bomb threats were made today. All of them turned out to be fake. That's according to police. And then there was this uh, case in Odessa in which a polling station was actually shut down after one of the members of the election commission decided that he was going to celebrate his birthday instead. So a very eventful day. But if we look at the breakdown of the parties, we can clearly see that it does look that nationalistic pro-EU oriented parties are indeed ahead at this poll. And this is exactly what experts and political analysts have been predicting. Now we've heard from already from uh, President Poroshenko, from various other party leaders, all of them praising these elections as the, the ultimate demonstration of democratic elections in Ukraine. And of course, Ukraine aspiring to come as close to the EU as possible. You wouldn't expect anything less to hear from them. When it comes to the opposition party, who actually are showing uh, pretty good results at this instance, they said that these were the dirtiest elections and really unfair towards them. Of course, ahead of the elections, uh, a lot of the parties, a lot of the party leaders were banking on the military speak. A lot of them were consistently making points about the uh, situation in southeastern Ukraine, pressing on with the military agenda, saying that they will continue to fight until the victorious end. But interestingly enough, uh, we've also heard from uh, the representatives of the self-proclaimed uh, People's Donetsk Republic, who said that, of course, uh, the elections are a farce, but they are hoping that from now, Kyiv will actually turn away from the military rhetoric and perhaps peace will uh, come closer and will become a reality. The preliminary results will be known by the middle of the week with the Central Election Committee uh, saying that they're hoping to have the final official results by November 10th.